In this video, we will show you how to create custom templates for your invoices that better match your brand. But it's not only about customising the look of your invoice. We show you the functional options by adding fields to your invoices to better match your requirements. To start, go to the gear icon and select Custom Form Styles. Here you'll see the templates that have already been created. You can choose to edit existing templates from the list by clicking Edit or create a brand new template that better suits your brand by clicking New Style. Here's how to create a custom invoice. We've broken up this task into four workflow sections – Design, Content, Emails and Payments. The Design tab is where you can change the look and feel of your invoice, such as changing your font or adding a company logo. When adding a logo, keep in mind it should be no more than 1 megabyte in size. The Content tab is where you customise what you want your invoice to say. The form is broken down into three sections. Header, the middle where the items you've sold will be listed, and the footer. In the header, you can add or remove contact information such as your company name, email, and website. In the middle section, you can add or remove columns, change the labels of the columns, and change their widths. In the footer, you can customise the cost breakdown and also include payment details for your customers. The Email tab gives you options to customise the greeting and message that will be sent to your customer when you send them an invoice. You can also change the wording of your reminder emails. Finally, the Payments tab lets you add a direct payment option which allows the customer to pay you directly from the invoice. You need to set up payments by PayPal for this to work in your invoice. Ensure you enable GST to show on your custom invoice as well. We recommend that you do a final review of all the changes you've made to your invoice by clicking Preview PDF to see how it will look when it's printed. Once you're finished, click Done. Customising your sales forms to suit your business is important because certain fields simply won't appear on your sales forms unless you turn them on from the account settings. To reach your account settings for sales, click on the gear icon up at the top right and then select Account and Settings. Now choose Sales from the list to the left. First, let's look at the sales form content. Here you're able to see various fields that you can turn on and off for your sales forms. Here we have an option for shipping, which allows you to show shipping information to your customers. There's also custom field options, so if you need to track something that is specific to your business and you don't see it listed here, you can create your own. You can also enter custom transaction numbers. These can also be turned on in the company settings section, but the most seamless flow is to turn these on and populate them when you are working on a specific template. Here is an option to list the service date of services performed and there is also a discount option and deposit option which you can place directly on your sales transactions as you record them. Once you have selected your preferred options, then move on to more settings for products and services. By default, showing the product service column on your sales forms is already turned on, but there is also an option to track quantity and price rate. This allows you to track the number of items that you've sold to a customer as well as the price per item while you're selling it. Let's scroll down and save all these options, then click Done. To see the impact of our choices, open up the Create menu and then Invoice. Now we can see the shipping information, the invoice number and more. Scrolling down, there is now a quantity and rate column on our products and services area as well as a service date. Here's the discount field that we chose to turn on and there is also a deposit field. Now you'll be able to use your new custom template easily. Click Customize at the bottom of your screen. You'll see the name of your new custom form in this list and can apply it to the new invoice. To preview this, click Print or Preview at the bottom of the screen. Once you are satisfied with your custom design, click Close and Save or Save and Send. And there you have it, an easy way to customize invoices to suit your company's brand and services. That's it, now get started.